Hey guys, it's Mark with Music Greatness. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning Always On Time. This is what the main riff sounds like. Let's break that down in a little bit more depth. You'll see there that there's two variations on the same riff. The song alternates between them throughout. Predominantly though, we're using the variation that includes the left hand walk up. Just like that. Let's get into it and break down the key and the chords. We're in the key of C minor. And we have three main chords. Our first chord is going to be a C minor chord. That's a C in the left hand, a G and an E flat in the right hand. Our second chord is going to be an F minor 7 chord. That's an F in the left hand, E flat and A flat in the right hand. And lastly we're going to have a G minor 7 chord which is a G in the left hand, an F and a B flat in the right hand. Let's recap that one more time. We've got our C minor, moving to our F minor 7, moving to our G minor 7, and then straight back to our C minor chord. Let's break down the first simpler variation of the main riff. Sounds just like this. Let's start by looking at the right hand. We're going to open on the top part of our C minor chord, which we hold for two beats. Then, when we get into beat three, the beat breaks down a little bit more. We're going to go three E and a four E and a, where we're playing our lower part of the C minor chord, switching to F, off for a quarter of a beat, and then back to that E flat and G. Three E and a four E and a. So that all together is like that making sure to use no pedal here as well. Let's look at the left hand in that first bar. It's going to mirror really closely what we just played. We're only playing the note C. We're going to hold it for two beats. One and two and. In beat three, we're going to play three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, where we play on three, and then off for E and, back on for a. Uh. Let me show you what that sounds like put together. Just like that. Bar two is exactly the same. We just repeat. Then we move into bar three where we're shifting up into that F minor seven chords. And the pattern is exactly the same with the same rhythms as well. If we take just the right hand, We've got our top part of the F minor 7 chord, that's an E flat and A flat, for two. Then in beat three, we go three, E and A. So that's our E flat and A, moving to B flat, off, and back to E flat and A flat. The left hand is just an F. And finally, the exact same pattern, but we're shifting up to G minor 7. That's going to be this for two beats, and then we're shifting from our F and B flat to C, off for quarter of a beat, and back down. So that's one, two, three, four, and then on the AND of beat four, we shift back down to that C minor chord. 
Let me show you that fourth bar one more time, again at full speed. Just like that. And that leads us back into the beginning of the loop. We're now going to look at the second half of the main riff. This is a variation on the first theme. The right hand is going to remain identical, but the left hand is going to change slightly. We're playing in octaves and we're moving around depending on what chord we play. Let's start by looking at our C. We've got the C minor chord, just like before. We're going to hold the C for one and a half beats. One and two, and then on the and, and three and four, and. You see there, once again, we're breaking that down into sub beats. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The rhythm, almost identical to what was played in the first variation on the main riff. The only difference is now that we're playing in octaves, we're also shifting the pitch. Starting on that C, moving up to D, and then finally to E flat. The right hand stays the same though. And we're going to play that twice. Then we're going to shift up to our F minor 7 chords. So we're going to start, and I'm only going to play the left hand here because just as before, the right hand is identical. We're starting on our F with the same rhythm for one and a half beats. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. What we're doing this time, instead of playing C, D and E flat, this time we're gonna play D, E flat and F. We're just walking up the scale. Then in our final bar, we're going to play that G minor 7 chords and with the exact same rhythm we're going to start on G and we're going to walk up E flat, F and G and then just as before on the end of beat 4 we're shifting straight back down to our C minor chord to start that loop again. Let's see the whole thing one more time at full speed so you can really see how everything fits together. And that's all there is to the main riff of Always On Time. Hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial, and if you have, head over to musicgreatness.com to check out our other tutorials. I've been Mark, thank you.